हाँ जी वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल वीएफएक्स फोर्ज सो टुडे वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ कस्टम नोड इनसाइड न्यूक ओके आफ्टर सीन दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू मेक योर ओन नोड फॉर योर ऑल द प्रोसेस ऑफ कीइंग और फॉर द फोकस इट डिपेंड्स ऑन यू ऑन व्हिच यू आर गोइंग टू मेक अ नोड ओके सो विदाउट टॉकिंग मच लेट्स जंप इनटू द वीडियो ओके सो जस्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट अ क्लास ओके सो हियर वी आर ऑन योर स्क्रीन यू आर सीइंग अ कपल ऑफ नोड्स हवरिंग हियर ओके Oh, so this is the process of a cata effect, or you can say a defocus effect, okay, or whatever you wanna call it, okay. So for this all process, all the nodes here, uh, we are going to make a node for it, okay. We will include all these uh, nodes into a one group, or you can call it a only uh, into a one uh, node also, okay. So how we can do it? Let's start, okay. One more thing, if you wanna uh, want to learn a cata effect or defocus okay, effect, you wanna call it. so just comment down below i'll make another video for that okay i'll not cover that cata effect and bokeh effect in this class okay so just let's start this class okay so just you have to copy all the notes here and just make a copy of that like this after that what you have to do just uh, select all the notes and uh, just press control plus g after uh, pressing control plus g it will make a group or you can call it as a node also okay you will see here there are two inputs here okay see this there are two inputs one and two we will edit that also and now first we have to name this group so i'll name it uh, as a custom underscore defocus okay i'll name it as a custom defocus okay if you want to go into this node so what you have to do just double click on this node and just uh, go here into properties menu you will see this uh, show the internal structure of this group node okay after clicking on this sign that is the s sign you are seeing here see this you, this is the s sign after clicking on this you will get into the node okay for example if i say if if you have used uh, before uh, after effect or photoshop there is a grouping method it works like same okay in this new call so okay so just after clicking on this as you will go into that node okay so here you will get uh, two inputs like this these are the same inputs which are which you are getting here in the custom defocus 1 and 2 okay i'll tell you how it is uh, going to uh, how you can use this okay so first of all uh, name this input 2 the bg okay because we are using uh, we, we will use this input as a bg here for example let's put this uh, node here and you will see the distortion node is the input okay see the bg input goes to the distortion and then convolve and then de distort and then the uh, all the procedure is going on okay so we have to put the custom node bg that input 2 here and we have to name it the bg okay so anyone uh, who is using this node get to know that uh, here you have to use the bg or play it whatever he is going to use that okay for example if i plug this here okay and now i have to increase the value of this amount okay if the in increase the value of the defocus amount and any other things okay the shape amount of the defocus so now i can't do that because i don't have the parameters here okay for getting the parameters what you have to do now follow it okay you have to do one thing just double click on that custom node and just uh, go to the properties bar and now you have to click on manage user knobs okay you will get here the uh, nuke x and you will get a uh, short window here you have to just click on pick okay now i have to see what parameters i want in uh, in my custom node okay or what type of parameters for example i am going to say i i have to increase the defocus amount of our scene how i can do that just go to your uh, for example i'll close this and just i'll go to my uh, the internal part of our custom node uh, okay after getting into the inner part of that okay how the uh, scaling parameter of this defocus amount i have given this to transform okay see double click if i'll double click on this transform you will see i'll get the parameter of scaling see this if i uh, increase the uh, transform scaling you will get the uh, the amount of defocus is increasing okay and after i'll do the same of decreasing the amount of the defocus amount will also decrease it uh, uh, in this transform the all the parameters are there for scaling the transform and for uh, uh, 
decreasing in increment of that scaling okay of the defocus amount okay how you will achieve this i have to uh, copy this uh, scale parameter into my defocus uh, custom defocus uh, parameter option okay in this node option how we can do that again we will go to manage user knobs pick and we will click on pick and now we will click on transform 4 which is the name of see again which is the name of this transform 4 is is its name okay and then just click manage user again and we you have to pick that and you have to pick transform now you will uh, give that to scale okay now you have to click on scale and just pick that after adding you will get, uh, get the uh, amount of that portion okay you will see here you can now increase the amount of your uh, defocus and now you can decrease the amount of your defocus okay from here you can increase and decrease okay you can rename it also for re renaming it you just have to click on this pencil and you just have to uh, click on this uh, a circle after circle you will uh, change your the knob name so i'll name it the defocus amount defocus amount i'll give it to the name defocus amount okay now right now i am having the uh, uh, defocus amount parameters in our uh, custom defocus node okay now i don't have to go inside that node and i have to increase the transform scale for increasing the defocus amount again and again and i can do that uh, in our custom node only okay i don't have to go inside that node again again okay now i'll copy the chromatic abbreviation uh, amount uh, parameters for example i will copy this chromatic abbreviation parameters also and i can copy a uh, cat eye effect also that is called the distortion plate also distortion undistorted plate here okay and you can copy these parameters also into your custom node how you can do that just double click on this and just double click on that lens distortion node you can copy this knob after clicking on this pencil you can copy this knob to your uh, uh, defocus parameters okay defocus parameter and you can change this name also i'll change it to cat eye and i'll name cat eye effect okay I'll name it that only and I'll label this also so the name of this also go, uh, get changed okay after this what I'll do just I'll double click on the uh, uh, chromatic abrasion also and I'll copy the parameters to my custom defocus okay so how can I do that just uh, select this and just I'll drag and drop all the red scale blue scale and green scale values to that okay and i'll make a column of that so i can get after anyone is using uh, this node so he can he or she can get the uh, name of that uh, uh, column okay how can we do that just name this just use this knob uh, that is upper side where you have used the pencil uh, go to your right side and you will get the text option here just drag and drop here after dragging and drop you will get the text column here okay this will denote what let me show you I get the name it chromatic abbreviation okay I'll copy the name and then I'll, I'll copy the chromatic abbreviation okay I'll, I have copied the name and as well as the label also okay so wherever uh, anyone goes to this column uh, he will he or she will get that this is the parameters of chromatic abbreviation okay he or she will not get confused or about it okay so this is the really good option with the help of this you can now you can just uh, uh, increase or decrease the amount also okay you can increase or decrease the cat eye effect also here okay so with the help of these process you can uh, make any parameters of your nodes okay one more thing i have to tell uh, in this procedure that you can make uh, any custom uh, shape also okay if you will see here we have only one shape okay if you will see here we have only one shape okay if i want another shape for example if we use defocus here z defocus okay and we i have attached here okay you will see and uh, for example we use defocus uh, if you use the custom uh, custom uh, shapes like this for example i have make this type of shape see if i have make these type of shapes and i have given the reformat here like this and 
I'll choose it to RGBA and just defocus it and now I'll show you how we can use this okay and we have to change this disk to image the shape what you have created it will uh, come into your scene okay for example if you see uh, see the my shape how it is looking okay so this is my shape okay and in this uh, ZD of course you are seeing same shape like this okay see this you are same you are seeing the same shape like this okay so we have to copy these uh, this filter this filter option into our custom node also okay so how we can copy that for example we, we will again go to in this uh, into our uh, custom node then again what you have to what we have to use just we have to switch our shape option okay how we can switch that just use the switch node here like this and just put it here like this okay into our uh, second input okay here we will use uh, the reformat see the reformat of the shape is uh, of this image is 200195 just copy that only okay I have copied this and like this same okay after switching this it's it's a very uh, simple node in which it will switch the amount from uh, 0 to 1 okay what he will do after you can admit it also for it's a really simple node just you have to if it is on 0 it will show the value of this area okay if it is on 1 it will show the value of another area okay see this input it, when it is 1 it will show the area of this and when it is uh, 0 it will show the area of this shape okay just save it I'll give this input name uh, to custom shape custom shape defocus okay okay you will see here uh, this other is custom shape defocus okay or you can see or you can type here a custom defocus or you can type a uh, custom defocus also it's upon you okay I have given the custom defocus here so it's the custom defocus okay so here you can do that filter type image uh, okay so now what you have to do now just we have to link this process we have to link the custom defocus here just double click on this okay and just double click on your switch okay now we have to do one thing we have to link this both how we will link okay so just close this okay now you just have to change the bouquet effect or how you can do that just uh, the expression and uh, you will expression that parent dot bouquet effect just have to copy this name and just you have to do one thing just go into this and add expression and you have to type parent dot this bouquet effect you have to put the dot here not the comma and just press ok ok now it will switch see this when you are on the uh, bg1 it will show the cat eye effect and when you will custom so here the shape will come ok so this is the procedure all overall you have to just take one node just shape node and just you have to do one thing this and you can make the your own custom shape okay so your custom shape will come here like this see this if i'll switch it to uh, cat eye the cat eye effect will see like this okay and if you will switch to see this and it you will switch to uh, custom shape the custom shape will come like this okay how it's your custom shape it is see this my custom shape is like this okay so it will follow that here okay so this is up for this class okay i hope you have learned something new here okay i have told everything on how you can create any node how you can add any parameters inside this okay so let's wrap up this class okay if you learn anything new in this class so please comment down below okay
if you love this class so please subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon also for future updates okay we'll meet in our next class tab tak liye keep creating and stay professional bye bye